We're at the Great Sand Dunes National Park and we're getting ready to slide down one of those. Or board down. If we can make it up to the top. <laughs> this is probably the most unique place we've ever parked the RV. For sure. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere. At 1014, we were hoping to be on the road with our RV hitched up about an hour ago. This one started acting funny last night. We have three travel days in a row coming up and we're going to be in the middle of nowhere and I didn't feel comfortable not making sure she was okay first because our destination is kind of far from civilization and stuff too. We just have to take care of her first. Better, so better safe than sorry. at our first rest area lunch break since putting on the solar panels. So I want to get up there and just take a look, you know, make sure none of them have just flown off on the interstate. Uh, that would be bad in many ways. Looks like everything's in order. Update the peeps on Daisy. Yeah, we forgot to tell you. We are, well, first off, we just finished lunch somewhere in Texas, outside of Dallas. Daisy is going to be fine. Yeah. She's fine. Come here. She does have, oh. We're picking her up slowly because yes, she, she's. She does have either a, a pulled muscle in her neck or a little pinched nerve. The doctor did some, like, manual tests on her and stuff yeah. and said that, luckily, it doesn't appear to be a slip disc or anything like that. So yay. And she's got prednisone now for a few days to help that knocked her out. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a little spaced out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep traveling on and on and on and on and on. Keep traveling on and on and on and on and on. Giant ice cream cones. There's a uh, Starks or something over here. <laughs> <laughs> Fire hydrants all over the place for the dog park. Oh. Find a place to make our own. We mark a spot that no one knows. It's ours, off in the unknown. We just got to this quick overnighter in Wichita Falls, Texas. It's very interesting. Unlike any park we've ever been to. <laughs> it's got chickens storks. and storks and ice cream or cones. flamingos, I guess. They're, they're flamingos. Flamingos, yeah. Elephant. And about a dozen fire hydrants. Not often that we film this much at just an overnight stop. So. <laughs> this has got a lot of interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's totally random old stuff, but I find it fascinating. Look, we're gonna walk over there. See the covered wagon? <laughs> he came over to me and like, Tried to intimidate me, then ran away. Danger, danger. Definitely there's goose poop everywhere around here, babe. Look at all this, be careful. Yeah. Look, goose poop everywhere. I'm not excited about having three days of travel, but I'm super excited that we're going places that we've never been before. So that's exciting, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> Day two. Dos. It's cold. It says 52, but it feels a lot cold. It does. It's a very moist cold. We're going to end the day still in Texas, but up in the Panhandle.
last night's overnight campground had like above and beyond decorations. This one has zero. <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> Since Chad is hooking up sewer so I can do some laundry and take a shower, I'm gonna lock down the slide that has the refrigerator in it, which is this one right here, righty tighty. And now only one slide is out. Day three, travel, getting to the destination of day. How many miles we got today? 282? 282, four and a half hours of drive time. Sand dunes and the mountains and it's snow. It's cool. It's cool and... Sand dunes and mountains and snow. It's weird. It is, but you know, I mean, it's spring. What are you gonna do? We're gonna enjoy the good days, which there are going to be some. So yes. That's it. We went from snowstorm to a sandstorm in like half an hour. <laughs> you can't make this up. No. It's like brown dust on the bottom and then cloudy above it. Sorry, the sand dunes are blown away. Sorry, the sand dunes are closed. So we're going to go on an expedition. Expedition. To scout out a couple of different places. Yes, we made these reservations several months ago. Even at that point, we could only get six days here, which is not our normal, you know, how we like to roll. <laughs> but we decided we were going to take the next five days after that and not book anything. Can you believe that? That's different for us. Well, there's some first come first serve, really cool looking spots that we first saw from Eat Sea RV with Dennis. Dennis yeah. And so it's pretty close to here, not too far. It's actually really close, but a bit of a drive because you got to go around. Yeah, yeah but it's on the way into Great Sand Dunes National Park. So we're going to check that out. But first, we're going to check out like the backup plan for camping too, is the UFO Watchtower. <laughs> it looks really funny and goofy, but I also read that there's camping for like $15 a night. So we just want to scope that out too, right down the road. It's April 24th and it's noon and it's 54 degrees. You know what else April 24th is? Her birthday. <laughs> so she's yeah. 29 again. Again. Amazing. That is. <laughs> I don't know. It's a carriage with two aliens on it. That's the weirdest thing ever. Very interesting. It is $2 a person or $5 per car load if you want to get out and walk around. 
15 bucks a night, it's dry camping. But in a pinch, if there are no sites available at the next campground, when we go there, there will definitely be sites here. There will definitely be sites. <laughs> there, there's like probably 30 sites there, maybe 20. There's a lot of them. Yeah. New stuff. New stuff is I fun. Like new stuff. This is why we do this. We haven't, we haven't seen new stuff in over a year. I know because of I mean, COVID didn't... and stuff. So it's Saturday and it's noon. Saturday is a busy camping day. So if there are spots available. I see, two, I see all these things up here. I see two Yeah. Campers. So that's a really good sign that there will be some spots available. It is only end of April and it still gets pretty cold at night. 50 amp. Oh my gosh. I'm pumped. I'm super excited. This is exciting. Those sand dunes, oh my gosh. It's so weird. It's just so out of place. That. This camera's probably not picking it up, but the little tiny specks are all people. Isn't it funny? Jeez, this is tight. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely getting our. No. Right here. All the little dots are people. It's people. Walking over. The greenhouse isn't open until 10, it's about 8.45 and we talked to Corey, who's the manager over there. He said we could come in and take some pictures and ask questions and whatever before it opens. It's been jam-packed, especially over the weekend. So it'll be interesting to see what the crowd is like on a Monday. I take the long way home If it meant I'd go Walking by your door Together we could see This one's my favorite. That. Now do you guys see why we say this is the most unique place we've ever parked the RV? For sure, this is definitely different. I yeah. mean, I think this was just one of those hidden gems that yeah. we found. Corey said this is the number two attraction in this whole valley, second to the Sand Dunes National Park. Yeah, so. it's hard to compete with the National Park. It's just, it just has a really good vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Everybody here is really friendly. Super nice, super chill staff, uh, very yeah. helpful, very nice. It's just a cool vibe. I really like it here. Mm -hmm. It's literally in the middle of nowhere, but yeah. right next to the Sand Dunes, we reserved 10 a.m. spot, which is right when they open because we were told that's the least busy time usually. And so I'm all about swimming in privacy. So. What she said. 
I'm excited. I'm excited to soak in this hot springs and see what this the hype's all about here. It's so cool that we can just walk from our RV right here. Yeah. It's nice, right? This is nice. So this I think is about let's not turn it towards those people. I'm not. I think this is what about 98, 90 something. 90 something. Yeah. This might be the coolest one. Yeah, and there's hot tubs on the sides and stuff. You're relaxed. So relaxed. <laughs> This place is to get the hunting and fishing license to stay yeah. at the next campground. You can purchase it online, but even if you purchase it online, you still have to go, I guess, and pick it up. Yeah. So. And there's different pricing for fishing versus hunting. There may even be some other options. We're hoping they will know. Yeah. We just have to have some sort of fishing or hunting license. We're all set. We have our fishing licenses for six days. Now we've got it figured out. Mm -hmm. If you do it online, it's gonna end up saving you time when you're inside the store to pick it up. If you fill all that out online, mm -hmm. then you can just choose the location of where to go and pick it up and you can just give them the CID number mm -hmm. and they'll print it off for you. We each had to get a license to be able to stay there. Mm -hmm. It ended up being 50 bucks a person. So six nights is still gonna cost us a hundred bucks. And we only yeah. get electric, we don't get water or sewer with that. Oh yeah, look at the dust devils. Here. I guess you didn't expect hail while you were working. No. It's really cold all of a sudden. What the hell is this? What the hail? You need some help? No. Okay. Okay, good. Because it's cold. Let's go do this thing. Well, we still have a good hour before sunset, and then it's gonna probably be a good while until it gets dark. Yeah, wanna but pick can... one of these little ridge lines and just walk up? Yeah, let's do it. Right, let's go back to the truck. What'd you think of the dunes so far? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I thought I was fairly prepared for this. I really did. I didn't bring a big enough jacket, but I'll be okay if this wind <laughs> dies down. <laughs> well, the sunset's gonna be really pretty though. Why yeah. don't you go and get it? <laughs> well, we got it. We got a little while. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm waiting for the moon to peek out just enough. Somewhere over there. So that we can start filming. He looks properly equipped yeah. for this adventure. It's going to be a long time before that moon lights up the dunes, which that's really, 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 really what I want to do. But we've already been here for two hours sitting here. So we can get good footage. How's that? The guy next to us is probably like, what? The <laughs> What's going on there? Here. Oh, Chad doll, please turn them on. Don't do that. <laughs> We're out of here. This was a cool place. We liked it a lot. Yeah, it's very different. Thursdays, they're closed for cleaning. What they do Wednesday night after the pools are closed is they dump the water and then they clean everything. And then they release the water to irrigate the plants and stuff. Otherwise, we were gonna grab sand sleds to go sledding today, but they're closed. So we can't do that. But we're gonna go and hopefully get a place at that campground that we showed you guys earlier in this video.
of jack popping lately. And this is what we used the very first time we ever did this. And it worked great. Since then we've used the fork oil, the green bottle, I forget what it's called. Uh, it, it's done so-so, but I think this works better. Now normally you have to siphon out the quart, put in a quart, but we're way below our fill line anyway. As you can see right here, there's the fill line. And I've already actually put a quart in. I'm gonna put a half other half a quart, I got three quart. And then do you have to cycle the jacks through a couple times to yeah. get it to just sort of get in the system? Indeed. I'll cycle these front ones a few times, okay. and then we can cycle the rest after we get off hitch. Yeah, check out the view. Look at that view. The only thing you have to do here is power. Just the power. See this? Yeah. People before us just yanked out. We're just gonna explore through here, through this area. I don't know if we can get down to the lake here or not. Let's find out. Yeah, watch out for rattlers. See that? That's how my skin feels. Here, thank you. There is a dumpster here. I was a little concerned because I forgot that there was a dumpster here. I wasn't sure. You can see the dunes, sand dunes. Yeah. They're right there. What kind of animals do I need to be afraid of here? I feel itchy now. <laughs> A lot of little gnats or whatever they're called, I don't know. Some kind of gnats that are just swarming all over there, all over Daisy. I could see them all over my white shirt. I'll get her to do a shake, watch. Let's mess her fur up. Shake it up. There get him, go. good job. Good job, then go inside, hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> It's finally a day without a lot of wind. It's a still day, and that's a perfect day to check out the sand dunes, finally. Now that we're closer to the sand dunes, I can see it right here. That is. It seems like it's a hop, skip, and a jump, but I still think it's about 30 minutes from where we're camping. You have the sleds, right? I do, we have a, a snowboard type sl slide and a slide slide. He wants to do the snowboard type slide. I'm not so much into that. I've never snowboarded, but I think I can figure it out. Well, he already has two titanium ankles, so what's he got to lose? <laughs> I got a real good feeling I can find and trust. It's like the whole sky opened up, gave me a real good reason to enjoy it because I got And I forgot all about having to carry these things. I'll carry them. No, I mean, I think I'll, I'm going to, even though this is the one that you want to use, I'm going to carry this one. It's like, I chose not to wear my waterproof hiking shoes because they're really heavy, and I thought really heavy shoes and climbing up sand is not a good idea. But now I'm kind of rethinking that decision because the creek's pretty big. I mean, if my feet get wet, my feet get wet. It's still better than those yeah, heavy shoes. Yeah, but then you're dealing with wet, sandy I know. feet. You ready? Let's do it. I'm feeling you. You still, you still think that you want to climb up to the very tallest one with all this stuff? That, well, would, be, that would be quite the, extra, the, the workout. This is Madano Creek, and this is only here until like June, and then it dries up. Don't be me, people. Don't I'm not be even me. The dunes yet. I'm already tired. Look at this. Look at my look at my feet. Look at that. I'm so dumb. I I don't really care about the shoes. It is what it is. Okay, so we're out of breath, and we're not even on an incline yet. We came from Florida and Texas, and now we're up almost 8,000 feet. But we still have to go up all that. We made it to the base of the dunes. And it's time for a drink. More difficult than it looks, plus the altitude. But man, it is a gorgeous day. It is. This is the perfect day. This is the best day we've had since we've been in this area. 
and I'm so glad we waited until today. We're headed right over to this ridge here, and then we can sled down to that little bowl right there. Mm -hmm. We can maybe climb up the other one. Oh, but there's this side too, down here. Down. We can go down and up there. <laughs> you want to try this one first? You want me to help you? No. They didn't tell you how to use it? Let me go toe first. I think it just needs to be bigger. Down ahead. I'll meet you down there, shoes. OMG. <laughs> you baby, you need both hands. You need both hands for the first time you're doing this. You've never even snowboarded before, so. <laughs> okay, I'll put this way. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You want to push? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that doesn't. Oh. <laughs> that didn't hurt, did it? Okay. Well, it was hotter than I thought it was going to be. Grab my shoe on the way down. You <laughs> <laughs> got my shoe, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this thing. We got to carry it around. <laughs> you know what's cool about this park compared to White Sands is that you're also surrounded by mountains, whereas White Sands was just flat. Hey, did we mention that these are the tallest sand dunes in North America? Yeah, it's true. And we're going to try going down there. I'm going to take one for the team and <laughs> ride the snowboard down. <laughs> it's like I got a whole lot of Yeah, my little snowboard. Yeah. You ready? Don't hold on over it, something. Ready? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, it's just fast. Ah! Oh, it's oh. Woo. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> you are a dirty girl. I, because I went. I think I literally have sand all over my face and all over my body. Look, I think that it would have been a blast had I had the sled that, that I purchased that I wanted to use, but that's all right. Thanks a lot, Chad. Bring lots of water, a lot, and extra sunblock. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna go. <laughs> Sand dunes on both sides and then mountains with snow. That's unique. I am kind of hoping that we sort of have to slide down one more though. Super fun, yeah. but it's very physical activity. So keep that in mind. Actually, feels kind of nice now. You guys ready to see all the wet sand in my shoes? Lots of water, check. Lots of sunscreen, check. Big hat helps. But wear one that has a strap that you can put around your neck because when you go tumbling down the hill, <laughs> you don't have to go back up and get it. And what does your shirt say? <laughs> with it, baby. <laughs> you, you rolled with it, all right. That's what I did. <laughs> we wanted to take advantage of the nice day today and check out part of the park that is not related to the sand dunes. And there's a couple of hiking trails that are in the forest instead of sand. We thought that that sounded easier, so. Check them out anyway. Yeah. Kind of had my fill of sand after the last couple of weeks. I'm still finding sand. <laughs> Yeah, I can read the signs. You need to get away. Mountain lions have been frequenting the area. Please consider the following precautions. Baby, I'm a little freaked out by that. I will admit how scared I get on trails because I do. I get scared. But I guess that's what bravery is about, right? You do something even though you're scared. Bingo. Yeah. So you don't make fun of me. <laughs> I never do. You 
drive someplace far yeah we could go for a ride the two of us we don't have to stop baby let's go for a ride you and i let us run away we can go where we want here is where the mountainville trail goes back down If you look over this way, you can see the storm. And you can feel the coldness in the air from the storm, too. Well, this is a neat little trail for a short little trail. It's pretty cool. I dig it. So it is rocky terrain. I mean, it's a short hike, but it's not like easy flat terrain. So I don't know if I would take little ones on this thing. Baby, make your worries go away. So put your trust in.